Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I am the founder of the Marriage Foundation and I appreciate this question. Why do married couples fight so much? It's a great question. This is the kind of question that should have been asked by a teenager who's wondering whether they should get married or not. And I'm going to tell you why, but I'm going to tell you that it's no one's fault, first of all. It's completely 100% a lack of education, marital education. Now, I got into this. I was a divorce mediator before I started helping people with their marriages. And I believed in divorce. And I believed all the stuff that was out there about marriage. Like there's a right way to argue. There's a right way to fight. There's times when you go over the line. I believed in boundaries, all of that stuff, which has proven to be nonsense. Yes, because the couple that I was working with who started me on this path of discovery, you might say, were really good people. And they had gone through marriage counseling. And I couldn't understand why they, because they were such good people, why they were still getting a divorce. And they asked me to save their marriage. So that's when I started looking into marriage from a different perspective. Now, I love my marriage counselor friends because they really want to help people. They're good people, but they've been so mistrained. And, you know, I, I think of, I illustrate this point when I talk about the days when Galileo was, he discovered that our world was not the center of the universe. In the 1500s, I believe he was, he recognized that the world was rotating around the sun. But before him, everyone believed the sun and all the stars and the moon rotated around the earth. It's like everyone believed that he was wrong and they put him under house arrest for the rest of his life because what he taught was so out there for them. They couldn't handle it. Fortunately, we don't treat people with new ideas that way anymore. And so, but all the scientists of that time believed it and they condemned him. So there are those who condemn me. However, I'm just discovering the truth about marriage. Here's the number one truth of marriage. Marriage, we get married in order to be happy, right? Isn't that why you get married, to be happy? Happier every day? Happiness is not this stagnant state of mind. It is something that is either increasing or decreasing. We also get married in order to experience unconditional love. Well, love, contrary to what is taught by psychologists, again, no offense towards psychologists, psychologists learn that love is in another emotion, like hate, like frustration, but it's not. Love is infinite. It is the symbol you might say of God. It is. Love is infinite. It's ever expanding, ever fulfilling. It's what we crave. Why do we crave it? And isn't that true about love? You've experienced love where it just blows your mind. And that's a good way of saying it because your mind is not you. Your mind is a possession. We experience love when we're tapped into ourselves, our souls. You see, we are souls. And by the way, I'm going to get to this topic, but stick with me because this is important. This is foundational information for you to understand about fighting. We are souls. We have a body. We have a mind. But we're not taught that. We are effectively taught that we are the mind. How we think, therefore you are. But that's not true. You are and you have a mind 
and therefore you use it to think and you use it like you would a computer to store information called memory. You use it to calculate situations, what you should do, what you should not do. And we live in that mundane realm of the mind because we're not taught that we are essentially souls who should be living on that higher plane of love and happiness. Do you know what a spiritual path is all about? And you know a spiritual path is kind of odd. We should be living, all of us, as spiritual beings because we are souls who have a body and have a mind. A spiritual path is not just about finding God. It's not like, oh, I think I'll find God. It's about finding joy. It's about finding love. Those are the two things we crave because we, as, we ourselves are souls. And when we get married, we're supposed to blend together with our soulmate, our love and our joy, and live on this higher plane of consciousness of love and joy. That's how we're supposed to. That's why God gave us marriage, so that we could discover love and joy. We don't have to become like wandering ascetics to find God, to find love, to find joy. We have it right in our marriage. Why do we fight? Because we don't live on that plane. It's that simple. You could flip the coin. If we lived on that plane of love and joy and merging it, being totally supportive and manifesting all the qualities of our soul, fighting wouldn't exist but we don't because we're not taught. No one's fault we're not taught. So we live on this plane, this mundane plane of material interactions and we never get along with another person if that's where we live. We put up with many, some we like, some we don't like, some we hate, some we really appreciate. It's always like this. That's what the mundane world is all about but our marriage is not supposed to be lived on the mundane plane. So the reason, bottom line reason, why people fight is because they're not living on that higher plane of love and joy. What do you do about it? You change your mode of life in your marriage. You learn and apply we're teaching it here at the Marriage Foundation. Come to our website, see what we have to offer. Change your life entirely. We're now even training. I've trained a bunch of counselors in the past, but now we're getting big. We're, we're getting too big for me to train people individually. So we've created a course. So if you wanna become a TMF marriage counselor, please, come and become one so we could spread these teachings. They're so wonderful. Because why do you want to live in misery? Who wants to do that? We want to live in happiness, in love. Love and happiness, happiness and love. That should be what you're focused on achieving constantly. And there's a process to this. Yeah. So you definitely should subscribe to this channel so you can learn all this stuff, but you should also like this video so that other people can learn about it too. But you need to change your life. Never, ever, never fight in your marriage. Refuse to. Will occasionally you slip? Ah, so what? None of us are perfect. Occasionally. That doesn't mean once a day or once a week, or once a month. It means occasionally it happens that we slip. Otherwise, fighting is forbidden. <laughs> Put it that way. You don't have to get into a fight. You definitely don't have to start a fight. And if your partner is starting a fight, you don't have to join in. People say all the time to us, in response to our teachings, 
which is that you can change your marriage by yourself. So they say to us all the time, because they want to have a bad marriage, they want to get a divorce, and they say it takes two to fix a marriage. No, it doesn't. Only takes one. That's our specialty. But it takes two to fight. It takes two to fight. I'm so glad you visited. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I hope you return again. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave a positive comment. God bless you and thank you. Take care.